Oh. Hey, what's up you guys? It's Chris Gunthry. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I got a lot of compliments on my vlogs from Ireland. You guys seem to love those videos. You loved getting to meet my friends. Yeah, the news is true. You and I, we had to break up. Kind of crazy. He died. I know, so wild. But I got a lot of requests to talk about my beauty. Because you guys saw in the vlogs, I was looking good. I was in Ireland frolicking around, just feeling myself in the in the land. As you know, I'm a huge fan of Scottish land. It's like a kind of a big part of me. I mean, it was really cool to go to another country and live there for a year and kind of feel all the land there and see what harvest they had. But in those videos, you guys saw how awesome I was looking, how much fun I was having, and I got so many requests to see my beauty trends. I'm gonna do a fall favorites video for you guys. You saw the title. So my first little fall hack. So I don't know if you guys have heard, there is this place in America called Bath and Body Works, and they have an amazing amazing line of fragrances. The first one I would like to recommend to you guys is Sugared Cranberry Cider. And this one, I don't know, just like the feeling it gives me when I'm wearing it, I feel like, I feel like Scottish Chris. You know, I just feel like, I feel like I'm running around in a field just being in tune with nature. The cranberry cider really sticks out to me and it really makes me feel at home. But then I have this rosé one which makes me feel more, I don't know, sophisticated. I like to work to school because it makes me feel more like a lady. It makes me feel very, I don't know what the word is, English Chris? I'm not sure if that's how you would describe it, but I feel like I'm smartest when I'm wearing this. I feel, I don't know, I feel like I can study hard. I feel very fancy. I feel very put together when I wear this one. So they're two obviously very different vibes, and it seems that I've used up the Scottish Chris one more, but Whatever, <laughs> that's not a metaphor for anything. Um, anyway, I really like to choose between these two moods, um, and sometimes I put them together, it just depends on the day. Then, the next little beauty hack, I don't know about your guys' dad, my dad John, kind of a crazy guy. He makes me work in the field a lot, and my mother recently died, so it's kind of just been me and my older brother Will. So what I like to do is I like to wear fake tan. What I love about fake tan is it makes it look like I've been working in the field longer than I have. Super easy to apply. As you can see, I've used it a lot. So what you do is you just put on the little mitt that it comes with and you spray, oops, shake it up first. You spray some of, I'm not gonna do a lot, but you spray some of the fake tan, it's almost like whipped cream, and you kinda go like this, kinda like smush it, and then you apply it to wherever you want. I'm just gonna put it on my arm right here. It's gonna tan me kinda bad. Um, but that's okay, and you kind of smooth it out so you don't get lines or anything. And I don't know, you can kind of see like, I don't know it's, I don't know if you can see in the camera, but I'm a little more orange there. So that's gonna be there for a bit. Um, that's kind of how you apply the fake tan. It's really helpful if your dad's been kind of a jerk that day and you really just wanna stay alone in your room and kind of just study and, you know, kind of be internal. Um, it's really good to put on the fake tan so it looks like you've been out working hard when you really haven't, so that's another hack. Um, and another hack having to do with my dad, funny. So for Christmas, I really like to get my dad a good gift, something that I know he'll use. And he's really been into belts lately, not in the exact way you would like him to use belts, but he has been very frequent with a belt lately. Don't talk to Will. <laughs> what I thought would be a good idea is to get a soft belt. My dad is very into the hard, like, thick leather belts, but I feel like this is a new contemporary style, and it's very soft. It's still leather, it's still high quality, but it's very bendy and very smooth and soft, so it doesn't hurt the skin as much. So I really recommend if your dad's like mine to get him a soft belt, you'll thank yourself later. So those are all my beauty hacks for you guys, but I wanted to add one more fall favorite that isn't really beauty related. I've been kind of reading up on my Scottish novels lately, and I found this one by this uh, Lewis Grassic Gibbon guy, and he's a really good writer. It's kind of crazy. The story kind of matched my life. Like, I don't know, I don't want to be crazy, I don't want to be weird, but like, I think it's kind of fate that I found this book because it's literally like my life. Like the characters are all the same, like everything that's happened to me has happened to the characters. Like the main character literally is me, like literally is me. And it's so weird when I was reading it and watching the movie, I was freaking out because I was like, that girl looks like me, her name is me, her parents' names are me, the things that are happening to me. Like, it's so relatable. You guys have to read it. I'm sure everyone can relate to it. It's called Sunset Song. Um, like I said, it's movie on Netflix that you guys really have to watch. Um, it's not that long of a book, a super easy read, really entertaining. I mean, it's kind of about my life. So if you guys have been watching me for a long time and you know me, you'll feel like you already are ahead of the game reading this book. Super interesting, great imagery. Gibbon does a great job of really putting the picture in your head of what is going on and the emotions and the metaphors. He kind of writes it almost like a gossip column, which I think is a way for him to kind of immerse you in and make you feel like it's truly happening and make it feel real. 
and it kind of gives the vibe of the town. I mean, the town is even called Kinrati, and literally there are the lights of Kinrati right there. Like, so weird, so crazy that it's literally my life. I don't know, I just really related to it, and I feel like you guys would too. Okay, guys, that is the end of my fall favorites. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this, and I will see you next time.